As the temperatures have dropped significantly, many of us will be looking for more comforting foods to warm us up as the nights draw in earlier. The salads of summer are on pause, and many people will be looking for dishes like Sunday roasts, Yorkshire puddings with sausage, and Mary Berry's delightful Bolognese pasta bake. Is there anything better than pasta covered in an abundance of cheese? Bolognese is an easy midweek meal to make, but Mary's take on the recipe ramps it up to another level for these cold autumn evenings. And what's more, it takes less than 30 minutes to prepare, so it's super manageable. She first shared the recipe on her television show Mary Berry Simple Comforts but it can now be found in a video online or on the BBC website. She said she couldn't think of anything she'd enjoy more midweek than a delicious pasta bake. You'll need a large, shallow oven-proof dish, about 1.7 liters slash 3 pints capacity to make this meal, along with a whole host of tasty ingredients, some of which you may already have in your cupboard. You'll need, 1 tablespoon olive oil 2 onions, chopped 2 celery sticks, finely chopped 675 grams slash 1 pound 8 ounces beef mince 2 garlic cloves, crushed 2 tablespoons tomato puree 2 by 400 grams tins chopped tomatoes 350 to 500 milliliters slash 12 to 18 fluid ounces beef stock 2 teaspoons Worcestershire sauce 2 teaspoons red currant jelly 1 tablespoon butter 250 grams slash 9 ounces chestnut mushrooms sliced 1 tablespoon chopped fresh thyme leaves 225 grams slash 8 ounces penne pasta 50 grams slash 1 and 3 quarters ounce cheddar, grated 30 grams slash 1 ounce parmesan, grated salt and freshly ground black pepper green or tomato salad, to serve there may be a lot of ingredients, but the method is astoundingly simple. First, you need to heat the oil in a deep frying pan or wide flame-proof casserole. Then, you should add the onions and celery together while the heat is high for about 3 minutes until they soften. Add the mince and fry until browned and break it up with a wooden spoon as it browns in the pan until none of it is pink in color. Then, once that's done, the garlic and tomato puree should be added, and the mix should be stirred for a few seconds. Stir in the tomatoes, Worcestershire sauce, and the red currant jelly. Add stock, and Mary warns you may need the full amount of stock if your pan is very wide. Then you can season it with salt and pepper. Cover the pan and allow it to simmer over low heat for 30 to 35 minutes. Then, you can preheat the oven to 200 C 180 C fan slash gas 6. You need to then melt the butter in a lidded frying pan, add the mushrooms, and fry over high heat for a minute. This method of cooking ensures they stay firm and flavorful, not soft and soggy, according to Mary. Then, cover with a lid and cook for 2 minutes, remove the lid and fry over high heat for 2 minutes, until the liquid has evaporated. Add the mushrooms and thyme to the mince and stir well. Cook the pasta in boiling salted water until it's al dente, to the tooth. Drain well and run under cold water. Stir the pasta into the mince and check the seasoning. Finally, spoon it into the dish, sprinkle it with cheese, and bake it for 25 to 30 minutes, or until golden and bubbling around the edges. It's best serve piping hot with a green salad, or tomato salad. This recipe is great as it can be prepared in the dish up to 6 hours ahead, ready to bake and serve. Do you have a story to share? Email, danielle.ro at mirror.co.uk